already start several agricultural universities have carried out surveys and the results of the surveys are available punjab university carried out a survey and other research students have also and have pointed out what the cost of production would be for instance in regard to wheat they have arrived at the finding that the cost of production would be in the region of rupees 320 yet the procurement price is fixed at rupees 305 what is the justification for this in the face of the fact that the price of fertilizer an important input has been doubled the prices have increased considerably and many types of pesticides that are in the market today are adulterated what steps have the government taken to ensure that the pesticides that in the market for sale to the farmers are of the right quality and are not adulterated ones is there any machinery in regard to drugs at least in name there is a drug controller in every state to see that the drugs sold are not adulterated in regard to pesticides have not you set up any machinery to ensure that the pesticides are not adulterated last but not the least important factor for maximization of agricultural production is water they say they have programs for increasing irrigation facilities during the fourth plan they wanted to bring in a considerable additional area under irrigation so that they could have assured water supply they have similar programs in the fifth plan why is it that a number of these projects are not completed within the time schedule that is let down why is it that a number of most desirable projects are not even taken in hand for years for one reason or another and the majority of them are held up because of interstate water disputes what steps have been taken by the government to resolve those disputes they say that they have no powers what is the good of their saying so when the ruling party is today in a position to pass any legislation that it desires even to amend the constitution as often as it likes and yet it does not take steps to settle these issues which would result in self sufficiency in food grains and also in respect of many vital cash crops needed for important industries why is it that we are unable to take any steps to settle these disputes and allow them to continue with no end in sight a little while ago i think a statement was placed on the table of the house saying that there were 157 projects outstanding in the scheme stop